टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सीला आई ऑलरेडी रिसेक्टेड द पेक्ट्रोल रीजन एंड आई हैव रिमूव द स्किन दिस इज द पेक्ट्रोलिस मेजर मसल्स एंड दिस इज द पेक्ट्रोलिस माइनर मसल्स एंड दिस इज द मीडियल पेक्ट्रोल नाउ सो द एक्सीला इट इज अ पिरामिडल इन शेप दिस पोर्सन दिस स्पेस इट इज अ normally it is fill up with the fat and there is a content of the axilla so it is the pyramidal in shape this is the base of the axilla here i will put this uh, portion this is the uh, it is uh, base of the axilla which is formed by the axillary fascia as well as it is formed by the uh, suspensory ligament of the axilla the apex it's into the upper part here at this level there is a apex this is the anterior boundary and uh, this is a posterior boundary on the medial side of the humerus it is a lateral boundary and this is the upper intercostal spaces are the medial boundary of the axilla so the medial boundary of the axilla which is formed by the upper four intercostal space which is covered by the intercostal muscles and it is covered by the serrator sentinum muscles anterior boundary of the axilla which is formed by the pectoralis major and minor muscles and the lateral boundary of the axilla which is formed by the coracobrachialis uh, muscles as well as it is formed by the upper part of the humerus posterior boundary which is formed by the subscapularis muscles and these are the two tendons of the uh, teres major and latissimus mesomorphi muscles and the apex which is it is on the upper side this is also called the cervico axillary canal here i already remove the uh medial two third part of the clavicle up to here i remove the clavicle so the anterior boundary bony boundary it is the clavicle posterior boundary which is formed by the upper part of the scapula if i will put here then it is the upper part of the scapula and uh, uh post uh, medial it is bounded by the first thoracic rib this is a first thoracic rib now the content of the axilla it is contained are the axillary vessels here i already got the conveniency for the axillary vein axillary artery it is inside the axillary sheet uh, which is formed by the prevertebral fascia of the neck and these are the uh, brachial plexus and it branches of the brachial plexus <laughs> so here you can see this is the scalenius anterior muscles and this is the behind to this uh, brachial plexus this muscle it is called the scalenius medius so the brachial plexus which is emerging inside the between the scalenius anterior and medius uh, even the axillary artery or it is a continuous uh, inner to the outer border of the first rib it is called the subclavian artery after that this is called the axillary artery Uh, same way this is the uh, axillary vein and after that uh, uh, inner to the outer border of the first rib it is called the subclavian vein i have already already dissected this is the interjugular vein both vein uh, interjugular and subclavian united it makes the brachiocephalic vein the content of the axilla are the axillary artery axillary artery and it branches total six branches axillary artery which is start from the outer border of the first rib and it is end at the lower border of the teres major and it becomes continuous as a uh, continuous as a brachial artery inside the arm it is brachium so that's why it is called the brachial artery axillary artery divide into the three part by the uh, pe pectoralis minor proximal to it it is called the first part behind to it second part and distal to up to the lower border of teres major it is called the third part of axillary artery the first part here it gives the uh, branch it is called the superior thoracic artery and the second uh, part it gives the two branches acromiothoracis acromiothoracis divide into the four further branches into the deltoid clavicular acromial and pectoral branches sec uh, third branch it is the lateral thoracic artery this is the artery which is emerging from the axillary artery it is the lateral thoracic artery third part gives the three branches of the axillary artery here you can see this are the two artery are the branches uh, this is the anterior circumflex humeral and this is the posterior circumflex humeral artery 
because it wind around to anterior to the humerus and it is circumflex it so that's why anterior circumflex humeral and posteriorly it wind so that this is a posterior circumflex humeral artery another artery it is the largest branch of the axillary artery it is the subscapular artery here you can see this is the uh, artery which is emerging from the uh, axillary artery it is the subscapular artery this is the subscapular artery this is the subscapular artery so subscapular artery now we will discuss about the branches of the brachial plexus here you can see this is a lateral cord it gives the first branch it is the directly goes to the uh, pectoralis major it is a lateral pectoral now this is the another branch of the uh, lateral cord this is a continuation of the lateral cord and lateral to the axillary artery and uh, this branch it is called the uh, musculocutaneous now uh, it is pierced to the coracobrachialis and it supplies to the muscles of the front of the arm mainly the biceps coracobrachialis and brachialis muscles third branch of the lateral cord it is the lateral root of uh, uh, lateral root of uh, lateral cord it is uh, united with the medial root of medial cord and it makes the median now here you can see it is uh, making median now in front of the axillary artery the lateral cord which is basically uh, formed by the ventral division of the upper and middle cord united it makes the lateral cord this is the posterior cord here you can see this is a posterior cord it gives the first branch it is the uh, upper subscapular the second branch it is the it is the uh, lower subscapular this is the lower subscapular just a second now this is the upper subscapular and uh, here you can see this is the upper subscapular now after that this is the second now which is a uh, it is a lower subscapular now and it also gives the branches to the uh, subscapularis as well as it gives the branches to the teres major third branches it is now to latis mis dorsi uh, now to latis mis dorsi uh, which is passes always at the where there is a subscapular artery which is divided into the dorsal scapular and circumflex scapular at that angle there is a uh, uh, now to latis mis dorsi which is passes it is also called the thoraco dorsal now uh, this is the now which is pass inside the quadrangular space it is the axillary now this is the axillary now and the last one it is a continuation of the uh, posterior cord it is the uh, radial now this is the radial now here you can see this is the it goes inside the spiral groove along with the profunda brachii artery so these are the five branches of the posterior cord and posterior cord which is formed by the all three trunk upper middle and lower trunk three trunk posterior division united it makes the posterior cord the last one is the medial cord uh, this is the medial cord here you can see this is the first branch it is goes to the pectoralis minor and it is a medial pectoral now after piercing to the medial pectoral uh, pectoralis minor it, the, it supplies to the pectoralis major so this is a first now it is a medial pectoral after that it uh, the now which is supplies to the skin of the arm uh, here you can see this is a medial cutaneous now of the arm this is a medial cutaneous now of the forearm and it is always along with the basilic vein here you can see it is pierced to the medial intermuscular septum so this is the basilic vein along with it medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm this is also a medial cutaneous nerve fiber of the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and this is a also medial cutaneous nerve of the arm fibers of the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm another is the medial root of medial cord here you can see this is a medial root of medial cord and this is a lateral root of lateral 
quad united it makes a, a median now and the last one is the continuation of the uh, branch of the medial cord it is a ulnar now ulnar now always you have to remember it passes behind to the medial epicondyle and it is supplies to the 15 intrinsic muscles of the hands so these are the content of the axilla and boundary of the axilla hope you enjoy the lectures of the axilla and branches of the axillary artery thank you very much inside the axillary axilla there is also a content are the axillary lymph node this is the anti axillary lymph node uh, here you can see this is the uh, subscapular vessels and along with it there is a uh, lymph node this is the lymph node it is called the posterior group of the axillary lymph node in between the anterior and posterior there is a lymph node it is the central group of the lymph node here this lymph node are the central group of the lymph node and uh, one is the lateral group of the lymph node on the lateral side of the uh, along with the axillary vein it is a lateral group of the lymph node so axillary lymph node it is also a content of the axilla hope you enjoy the lecture thank you very much uh, this is the intercostal brachial now it is the direct branch of the t2 and it supplies to the floor of the axilla so this now which supplies to the floor of the axilla and medial side of the upper part of the arm which is supplied by the intercostal brachial now